Hello and a hearty welcome to another edition of AfroZone, courtesy of Africa SL on our YouTube and Facebook channel. I am your host, Ambassador Sir Blash, and today we shall be talking to one of Sri Lanka's finest chain maker, and he has been very, very supportive in the youth sector in Sweden and also in the line of academia. He goes by the name um, Ibrahim A. Kebe. We'll be talking to him shortly on his career pathway and as a form of motivation for young people out there. Don't go nowhere, I'll be right back shortly. Yes, welcome back, and we have the honor now. We are live here at uh, The View, and an uh, interesting place. Uh, it's a pleasure having you, Afrozen. The pleasure is all mine. Yeah, I know, you, I know you love the atmosphere. The, it's, so, it's so cozy out here. So okay, nice. so we want to extend our appreciation to The View, because uh, it's a 3 one package. We'll wow. definitely take you around to see I, the I really need to see around. Yeah, it's, and then it's so nice. Too. It's interesting. Yeah. Oh, by yeah. the way, you're looking good like always. Thank you. I'm just taking it to you, sir. <laughs> you're blending, you're blending the academic virtue and that of uh, the, the fashion sense. Well, How's it been so far for you? Ah, uh, thank God we were kicking and grooving. Okay. Academia, of course, it's not easy. Yeah. It's, it's a highly regulated profession. Mm -hmm. And um, you also want to blend it with um, other aspects of social life. So it's not been easy blending both. Okay. Um, Albert Academy and IPAM has played a pivotal role in your career pathway. Um, tell us more. Yeah, um, the Albert Academy played a very important role because um, that's where I got my senior secondary school education. Mm -hmm. And um, it taught us a lot in terms of um, how do we um, gather that kind of um, seriousness, mm -hmm. focused mindset, pursue to what you want to achieve. So uh, the Albert Academy taught us that. And, mm -hmm. uh, Proceed into the University of Sierra Leone, IPAM to be specific. Yeah. Well, I just continued yeah. um, the trainings I've got from um, the Albert Academy. Then I went to um, IPAM and I graduated as one of the best students and I was recruited as a research and teaching assistant, mm -hmm. after which I did my master's and um, I became a full lecturer. Then I uh, just continued to add value in the system and continue to grow. Your, your area, you have specialized your area to the fact that people will not talk about human resources or other things in this country without mentioning the name Kebe. You know, the success story so far? Well, um, I am so much into leadership. And yeah. um, when I was fortunate to be in the honors class, I specialized in HR because human resource management has to do with how institutions manage their workforce. Mm -hmm. Considering the fact that human resources are the most important asset mm -hmm. of any institution. So... Um, when I became a lecturer, I also wanted to add value in that space yeah. in a way, in the way I teach, in the way I make my presentations. And I also started um, organizing seminars yeah. just to make sure that students understand the theoretical aspects as well as the practical aspect because um, education in Africa is so much theoretical. Yeah. So my view was to make sure that I blend both okay. in order for them to have some, some foundations, which is the theory and also have some practical aspects. So at least when once they go out there, they can settle very well in the workplace. 2019, people will say, if you're a footballer, I will say it was your breakthrough here in, in Sierra Leone. A lot of things happened for you. You know, over 15 events, you serving as a guest speaker, um, those amazing seminars organized, got your few and your young team. So many things happened. How do you want to rate that particular year in your career? Well, um, just like what you said, breakthrough, mm -hmm. I think... That was the year um, I was able to, to break out of yeah. my comfort zone. Yeah. That was a moment I, I knew I, I wanted to give more. For me, I wanted to do more than what I give in the classroom. Yeah. So that was why I actually conducted a lot of academic seminars and also youth mentorship seminars for young people. 
that was the time I traveled to to China, and uh, of course you were yeah, for sure. you interviewed <laughs> when I came back. I saw a, a whole new perspective about life, okay. about education. So I actually wanted to replicate that in in, in my in my education, in my in my in my university, and also I'm also active in the youth space. So I also wanted to transfer that to that mm -hmm. space. So when once I was able to do that, I think I got the attention of people. And people knew that I was doing something very important. Kebe, students are convenient around you. It's real in the past. I know our university today is very really difficult. Cotton and Kona lecture at a bad. That lecture at a too strict. But in your own time, it's different. There's a lot of innovation, you know, in, in the, the way you lecture. Yeah, um, I think that's again where we get it all wrong as um, Africans because mm -hmm. it's not only here in Sierra Leone. When we are educators, we, we appear to um, our pupils or our students as demigods. That in itself creates that fear in them. Okay. So when I was a student, I didn't quite like lecturers who appeared like demigods to me. I, appear, I, I liked the ones that encouraged me, yeah. wanted to know how I understand things. So when I became a lecturer, I tell students, it's okay, don't call me Mr. Call me IBKB. Okay. Don't, you just have to respect me, don't fear me. Mm -hmm. So when I get to class, I make the atmosphere conducive for them. And when students know that you are receptiveness, they, they, you are receptive to them, mm -hmm. they tend to accept you and they fall for your teaching style. Mm -hmm. And that in itself increases their, their, their level of commitment, their level of understanding. So that was the skill I adopted. And uh, Alhamdulillah, students are appreciative of what mm -hmm. I do in the classroom because when you make them understand, you, 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 you make them feel comfortable, yeah. and that's what I do, just to make sure that they feel comfortable. But that doesn't mean I am, I am not, I am strict with them, yeah. but I'm just friendly and firm. That's the big difference. What was the um, meet professional born out of this initiative, that you are convenient around students and they are convenient around, but yet you are strict? Well, uh, meet professionals came again out of the fact that I wanted to add more value. Okay. IPAM is just my, my academic work, mm -hmm. and I wanted to add value outside my academic work. Okay. So that was why I started Meet Professionals, just to interview people who have actually um, gone through some challenges and how were they able to, to go, get to the point that others can admire them okay. in terms of maintaining their respect, discipline, in terms of how they were able to, to, to live in a, in a, a life that is admirable, that one cannot say, ah, that man acquired his wealth through mm -hmm. this and that. We wanted to just have those people that can say, yes, we did something, I did something that is admirable. That was why I started this. So how, how do you balance the time? You, you have to lecture and meet professional, you're the executive director at the same time, um, you're running a TV show, you know, showcasing those professionals. How do you manage the time? Well, um, I have a full-time job at the university, which means I lecture full-time. Mm -hmm. um, during weekends, that's the time I have for my meet professionals, my mentorship sessions, or other related issues. But maintaining a work-life balance is a really, really difficult thing. Mm -hmm. Of course, you already know about that yeah. because when you have family, you have work. When you, too much, you, place, you place too much premium on work, you have members of your family or your friends who look at you as you're too busy for them. Mm -hmm. Okay? When you put too much premium on family, of course, your employers will want to be bothered. Mm -hmm. So maintaining that has been very much critical, but... I have a flexible job, you know. Mm -hmm. I only get to class um, um, when I have lectures. Yeah. Other than that, I can spend a little time conducting research or adding value. Hi. Your social media presence is also good. Um, you're most times online and updating people um, the day-to-day -day runnings. You know, how, how do you manage that as well? Well, for me, one of the things I'm so particular about is how I use my social media handles. Mm -hmm. um, as an HR practitioner, I believe that um, a lot of people are watching what I do. I mentor a lot of young people. So for the fact that they contact me through my social media handles, for the fact that they admire what I do, I want to be very much cautious mm -hmm. with the things I post, with the comments I make, all those things. In fact, quite recently, I was contacted um, through the African Genius Awards. Yeah. One of the things they got to know about me was through my social media handles. Mm -hmm. So it tells you that others are watching in the way you do things on social media. Gone are those days when our parents didn't have that luxury. Mm -hmm. But in as much as we have it now, we want to make sure that we're careful 
in the way we use it. We use it in a way that is productive. Yeah. Because many a time there's so much political um, discussions mm -hmm. that are not healthy. It, um, it should not be misused at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, we misuse we, it. So mm -hmm. sometimes I, I, I'm so cautious about the way I use my social media. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, 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 if I don't have anything to post, I do not post. Okay. Um, it's a pleasure having you here. We'll be back shortly to continue the rest of the journey. We want to look at uh, Mentor X Africa. That's another amazing milestone for you. Yes. And what next for um, Ibrahim Kibbe? You're still with Afro Zone here on iAfrica SL on our YouTube and Facebook channel. Quick break and I'll be right back. Welcome back, and I still have with me um, uh, Ibrahim Kebe, and there's a lecturer and uh, the executive director for me profession that is separate from that of IPOM, <laughs> and uh, also he has been serving as a guest speaker in so many things in Sierra Leone. Can we look at um, uh, Mentor X Africa? Um, those opportunities are real to see for Sierra Leone, and, and you're doing extremely well there. Yeah, uh, Mentor X Africa is also another important platform. But um, um, Sierra were not using that platform very well. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a mentorship platform mm -hmm. that can provide you with a one-on-one -on -one mentorship session okay. with a lot of experienced people, a lot of successful entrepreneurs. It's, 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 it's a company that is based in the UK and in other parts of Africa. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I will, I'm part of them. I have a few mentees from other parts of Africa. Well, for them, they, they are keeping in touch and they're, they're following up. I'm also following up with how they're doing. But the ones in Ceylon here, they only tell you that I want to, you to mm -hmm. mentor me. That's where it ends. Yeah. But in other parts of the world, they follow through. Yeah. Uh, because mentorship has to go with transformation. Yeah. When I mentor you, I want to see you move or go from mm -hmm. one level to the other. And yeah. I have to monitor your progress. But and and yeah. those, those things like consistency and persistence will come to watch at the end of the day. Yeah. Because yeah. you need to be consistent. And you all. need to. Because okay. if you do something today and leave it, say you do other things, it doesn't show that you are consistent. So yeah. That's, That's why I was happy you you celebrating um, the 10th episodes of uh, Meet Professional. That's, yeah. that's huge yeah. because uh, you, you saw the need, get the gadgets for yourself, and you start recording those programs. Yeah, yeah. I, I must confess you're doing amazing work. Thank you, sir. Let's look at something uh, very simple here. Your leisure time. How do you spend your leisure time? Well, I like soccer, football okay. a lot, so I watch a lot of football. Of course, sometimes I see sometimes when you play about Real Madrid. Of course, I play. <laughs> If I, did, if I didn't get to academia, I was, I was so much in love with football that I thought I was going to be a footballer because okay. I like football a lot and sometimes I read and I write. And, but many a time when I am on my leisure time, I think about my work week mm -hmm. because when once I have classes throughout the week, I want to make sure that my slides are okay, my notes is okay, everything is okay because I'm very much passionate about my job. So yeah. in my leisure time, I also think about my job then. I watch football sometimes, just have fun, hang out with friends, like minds, and... Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the twin, the twin part, the twin aspect. <laughs> well, yeah, I have a twin brother, of uh -huh. course, yeah, um, for the fact that I, I am blessed that I have a twin brother. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I like is the fact that we're not identical in any, in any, in any, in any space. Okay. Um, I think this way, he thinks the other way. <laughs> I like soccer, he didn't quite like it. I like ad academia, he likes accounting, math, economics, and I do not quite like all of those. So okay. we're just two worlds apart, but um, we live together, okay. of course, um, and uh, we're happy we're going together. But of you are hardly spotted on, on, on the streets. I don't know why. Yeah, of course. Oh, we, I mean, you, you go in diverse ways? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Um, um, he has his own job. He works at um, the bank. Mm -hmm. And um, I work at the university, so many a time he goes very early mm -hmm. and he comes in very late. I also go. So we, we hardly spend time, especially during the work week. Okay. But for weekends, we spend time, we talk and play and laugh and we focus on So the what weekend. about friends back at the, at the Adelbert Academy? Do you yeah, still have time for your, 
Yeah, well, uh, that is a bit challenging. Class. But for our class of um, 2010, mm -hmm. I think we spend a lot of time um, organizing um, football matches, mm -hmm. mentorship sessions. So I keep in touch with them, but it's, it's difficult based on your, your, your time schedule. You do not have time to do a lot of other things. And even the WhatsApp groups, <laughs> I take time to respond there, but... Because most of, the thing is, most of the things you will see will be a policy statement. Of course. So that's why in, in those programs you need to be extremely careful. Of course. So yeah. what, what next for you? What do you have in mind? Well, um, um, a lot. Okay. You know, um, I want to, I'm looking at meet professionals. I'm looking at my, my life. I'm looking at my job. For my job, I want to um, start, of course, I'm starting my PhD this year. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that I bag the PhD before I get old. Okay. So I'm looking at that very soon. I'm starting the PhD. Then for me, professionals, we're launching a magazine and we're releasing a couple of other videos. Mm -hmm. We want to see that um, we start interviewing other people from other African countries because Miss Professional is not about Sierra Leone. Okay. We want to make sure that we also invite other nationals okay. of okay. other countries. And for my personal life, well, um, I have a son. And um, after bagging the BHE, maybe I, I get married and settle down. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, so I know the Mrs. Albright out there, big thing. Can they call my name? But well, uh, so let's, see. let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So wrapping up now, your social media handles and how can someone keep in touch with you? Well, um, okay. I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Twitter. It's just IBKB. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You can keep in touch and we can all um, um, interact there and we move forward. One want to ask... Um, why Unimark of late recently? Well, um, I, I, I'm an academic person, so mm. I wanted to add more value. I've got my degree and master, so I wanted to add more value. So I actually did the um, postgraduate diploma in quality assurance because quality is something that's very much important in mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Like what you're doing now, this is quality. Yeah. You want to ensure that you satisfy viewers. Mm -hmm. You want to ensure that your production team, a very experienced and qualified team, you want to ensure that when once they produce, you have the quality that you want. Mm -hmm. So this is quality. Um, at the university, we want to enhance quality. That was one of the reasons why I enrolled for the program, and inshallah, I learned a lot from it. And I know a lot of people will, be, will definitely understood now uh, the, the angle you are coming from, because I just saw the picture on the internet. Ah, our lecturer over there at Unimac, adding what? People, people really did not know exactly what you went here yeah, to yeah. do. I'm a very intentional person. When once I do something, I, I, I plan it and I go after it, so... When once I go about the, the, the program, because a lot, I want to do a lot in my own space. Yeah. In fact, the, the, the dissertation we write, we wrote, sorry, at the time, was how to, how to improve my own system at the university. So I wrote it and submitted it. I got assessed and graded. So at the end of the day, it's a plus to IPA. Of course, it's always a plus. It's yeah, always, it's always yeah. a plus. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pleasure having you, Kebe. Uh, it's and a pleasure. Uh, it's my all, And I wish you the very best, a uh, wonderful fellow change maker. No problem. I also want to thank you. I want to yeah. also thank the whole team yeah. for putting this very good setup. And um, I want to wish Africa all the best. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we also wish um, Meet Professionals all the best. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> so that's how we do all the down for today. And it has always been AfroZone here on Africa SL. And we now join uh, uh, my brother and friend. Another Ibrahim or is Ibrahim Kano for our innovation and entrepreneurship tunnel. So then keep watching our friends on iAfrica SL.
Hello and welcome to a weekly edition of the Innovation and Entrepreneur Corner. And I am Ibem Kano. On this edition, I am with Hashmatu Aisha Sese. She is an entrepreneur and the CEO of Shima Elegant Kotsu, an online fabric that helps you to choose your right fabrics. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so Hashmatu, why you change the business strategy? Because most people are used for buying a market, going at the place of business and buy. So why you choose online? Um, we actually want to make we customers then shop from the comfort zone and see, you know, see if person get want to car or he get for go work, you know, they get much time. So, um, doing an online business, we actually don't create a platform where they make, you know, get for go fence side for parking motor car. You know, get for pay transport canton because we get various delivery teams that we they work with are just a call. And you can choose your fabric from um, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and we get a professional and um, great complimentary delivery team. So with that, I think say we don't make um, fabric shopping very easy. Much easier yeah. and accessible. Yeah. Okay, in the area of um, delivery, because now once I would say most people can get um, challenged with online business. So, like, for instance, if you post in Abu or Kenema or Poloko, um, order you fabric online. So, how the business can reach them? Well, most of my clients then are free tone and day and international. And within um, free tone, do you ask for Bo Kenema? Yeah, because I, I actually, actually cater for the uh, I, interior I, as well. Most times, my clients then are within free tone and day, both east, west. So, just limit, you just limit and force For now, it tone. limits. For now, it actually limits. But if I get clients from Bo Kenema, I go like find a suitable um, pro and process for How the goods do delivery. Yeah. Okay, because um, online business can face with um, challenge because we get most of our unions them no understand how for go online and get what you want. Then at times, can the process not can trust? Like if you say scam. um, scammers them can. Uh, uh, take on the, 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 the little resource they don't save. So they give them um, belief for going to shop and get what they want. So how you can manage that situation there? Well, if you post in text me on Facebook or Instagram, I can give out my number. We chat on um, WhatsApp. If you choose for call me, then it's fine. As I say, I create a platform where trust go there. Because in every business, honesty is very important. Exactly, yeah. Because not so for now. Like, you can buy to me. I'll be honest with you. I don't scam you money. You can recommend me to other person. Exactly. And the recommendation of your business is very, very, very much important. important yeah. So anybody will text me on Facebook or Instagram, I give up my number. I know they use plenty of number, I just one number, and I don't use them for so many years. I give up my number. We talk on WhatsApp. If you want to see me in person, I can still do delivery. Though I get Unimax where they do Unimax, sorry, where they do delivery with, and I get my own personal delivery people Same in yeah, way, well. yeah, where they work with. So, so in terms of your delivery, how many days it can take? Just a day. Just a day. Yeah. So if I purchase them now, how long I will get them? It depends on your distance. Okay. <laughs> but so you get them the very day. Okay, exactly, which is good. So I'm going to take you away from your business um, a, a bit because I'm uh, looking at your progressive part. You don't work with the Japanese International Cooperation Agency okay. and also you don't work at the uh, House of Parliament. Uh, I think it was 2008. As an intern. <laughs> As an intern, okay. Then later you move into branding and marketing and now you're an entrepreneur, you're into online business. So how best you move into those... Um, period of uh, transition from one point to another? Well, I get support system. <laughs> As I tell you, I get team where they do delivery for me. Me not just the social media handles them that you operate with. So you get a management structure with your handle whole I get, and I get my small sister most times where they do delivery. And as I say, I work with Unimax. We I work with Edith today. If I, if I didn't have office, I can just call CSN delivery person. All right. So I get a delivery team. So I think they are the able balance work. Presently at the work. <laughs> so are the able balance work and business. It's business, yeah. yeah. 
So can you share with me your challenging moments and uh, uh, you um, successfully as well? Capital. Uh, capital. Capital. So how you found the start of Capital? Um, I start for advertise first for people then. Because I noticed they uh, are very good with um, branding and advert advertising. So I start for advertise for people then. Work on interest. Like, again, most of me body them, which trust me when it comes to finance. When you get to your business, you come out to Dubai, you come out to Turkey, <laughs> and they advert for so you. So good for my bank with you. <laughs> <laughs> if you get business where correspond to me, own business, I go advert for you. We work on interest. All right. So I start with that process there. And some customers are really hard for deal with. Exactly. No disrespect, yes. please. But some customers are really hard for deal with. You go don't snap something at the end of the day, they say, oh, not to this I be want, not to this color I be want. But as I say, now business you do. You get for be humble, you get for be exactly, lawyer, yeah. you get for be honest, you know. And you get for get patient. You get for like understand how you get for understand so you get for deal with various type people, of people yeah. them. So me not actually get problem with and they and that Somehow, not challenge though I can try for neglect, but now put inside the challenges, so you know, manage capital, the well. customers' behavior, and also, um, the exchange rate, yeah, the exchange especially rate. this present moment, yeah, this the exchange, moment so the, the exchange they, rate, they, they, they yeah, because don't. some customer could always buy something hundred thousand and you can't change, although they don't say. Um, the currency don't change, inflation and all. Exactly. But you could say, say, now hundred thousand your plans buy more. You tell you would explain. <laughs> so business gets a lot of challenges. Yeah. So like your social media handles, if people want contact you for business, on which platform they go reach you? Um, Facebook. You can contact me direct Facebook page when I Hashima to Haisha Sise. And you can contact me business page when Hashima's elegance culture. And you can contact me Instagram page. When a Queen Shima 001 or my business page on Instagram, when a Shima's Elegance Culture 2018. All right, we are now at the end of our program. I many thanks to Hashima to Haisha uh, to Sasei. Thanks for watching Afrozone and I am Ibrahim Kano. Till next week. <laughs>